Welcome to the Parasite Podcast, a show about me and you. We are Venom. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Parasite Podcast. And I know I don't normally open the show like this, but this one's a little different. We've talked about this a while ago, and uh, this is something that I want to include more of you on. So if you want to participate, just make sure you contact me at that email address right there, the Parasite Podcast at Gmail, so you can be a part of this. Because what this is, I know we do the normal Parasite Podcast, and they're like 20 to, 20 to 40 minute episodes roughly, and we'll try to do more of those coming up soon. Cam Frazier is going to be a guest on, and then I'll try to get a couple more people. Tavia, I know there's some people I tried to reach out to, and I just you know fell behind on stuff. So I promise I'll try to catch up back in early November, uh, you know, in a few weeks. I should be caught up with everything else and try to make some time in early to mid-November to record some more Parasite podcasts. But I think at the end of the year, I probably will end those. So if you want to get in, try to get in now so I can book, you know, we can book them at leading up to the end of the year. Because um, I think next year we might do something a little different. I'm still working on the idea. But in this episode, what we have is a review for Venom Let There Be Carnage. By the swordsman uh you know and i'm so happy he was the first person to send one in he actually recorded his own audio edited it you know down to like a minute and a half or two minutes and sent it to me and that was really cool of him so you can do that yourself if you want at parasitepodcast at gmail.com you can either send me some audio um or you can you know contact me we can do a stream labs where we'll have video and we can you can use your webcam or something and i'll just let you talk for like five minutes and then we'll put that up as a single episode um and then we'll you know or you can just write me an email at that email and just write like two or three short paragraphs about your thoughts of the movie and what i can do is i can read those for you you know on the show and give it a, you know listed as your review of venom let there be carnage so if you want to participate and do something like swordsman does here just contact me at that email address and we can work it out. So without further ado, let's get to the Swordsman review. It's really quick, uh, but it's very precise and he did a really great job. So thank you, Swordsman. And for other thanks, I have a lot of thanks to give. I'll be doing that in an episode coming up. So be on the lookout for that very soon. Thanks so much. See you in the future and enjoy the review. Hello, my fellow Venom fans. If there's one word that can sum up this movie, it's fun. Andy and Tom really took heart what did and did not work from the first film and tried to make this movie even better, which was mostly a success. Unlike with Seek, I liked Anne better here, though I'm sad Anne moves on with Dan, as Dan wasn't killed off like I thought he would be. Where it falters is its adaption faithfulness. It can be really faithful in some areas while getting some things flat out wrong in others. The best example I can think of this is Carnage. Cletus is mostly great, but the Carnage symbiote, on the other hand, is horribly wrong. Other flaws I could see is Shriek doesn't have enough screen time, which is sad because her actress is great, nor does she have a really good costume, which was surprising. She also doesn't get to team up with Carnage for some reason. Um, Carnage is also killed off. And one scene was a little cringe. To be honest, I was really conflicted on this, but after a while thinking about it, I settled on that it is a better movie than Venom 1, but it's a mixed bag, kind of like Donnie's Run. I give it an 8.5.